My name is Vivek Ashtavanj. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Marketing at the Kelly School of Business, Indiana University, Bloomington. I am also an adjunct professor of data science at the Luddy School of Informatics, Computing and Engineering at Indiana University, Bloomington. ChatGPT is a website that in some ways behaves like a human being. It takes text as input and generates text as output. Often the input text is a question and the output text is an answer. It has the potential to be a breakthrough innovation because the website is free and incredibly easy to use. Second, unlike Google search engine or Alexa or Siri, it generates the answers or the text in real time, which means that if multiple people were to ask it the same question at one point in time, or if, the, or if one person were to ask it the same question at different points in time, ChatGPT produces slightly different answers rather than reproduce the same list of 10 search results that a Google will do or produce the same scripted text as answer that an Alexa or a Siri would do. ChatGPT has the potential to replace human beings whose job is to refer to uh, volumes of information contained on the internet or in textbooks or in memory and produce information based on that available stuff. Um, however, what ChatGPT cannot do is provide you answers based on events or that are occurring right now or have occurred in the very recent past, nor can it give you information about what the future would be like because it cannot think. Human beings can think, they are expected to think critically and originally and then give answers that others would not have even expected. And that's because ChatGPT is trained on the internet data. So it's trained on what is available, but it doesn't even know what might happen in the future because simply said, it cannot think. I think it is the first technology that has made artificial intelligence available and accessible. Available because it's free, accessible because it is incredibly easy to use. On the future direction um, and the potential, I don't know. It's both promising and scary. It is promising because it is allowing, it is freeing human beings to do what they are meant to do. Think critically, originally, and think about the future as opposed to get stuck in the past and paraphrase or summarize information that is contained in textbooks or on the internet. Um, it has the potential. It's also a bit scary. Only time will tell how well human beings use and misuse or abuse ChatGPT.